I am wanting to do a review of the St. Martin uh, Airport, International Airport. It's actually the um, Princess Juliana International Airport in St. Martin. And I'm wanting to compare between the uh, add-on airport that you pay for by Airworthy Design uh, that came out in March 11th of 2020. Uh, versus what you get um, when you have Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, Deluxe and they give you some um, airports that are enhanced airports. So this right now is the uh, Payware add-on airport um, and right off the bat I'd have to say that um, the building and textures outside uh, look really nice but uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, well, let's go over to the beach first because that's what everybody really likes is to see the beach. Everybody is jumping up and down waiting for the plane uh, to fly overhead. So we'll go over that way. As we're going over that way you kind of get an idea of the textures uh, and layout of the airport here. It does look very, very nice. However, there are some differences between what Microsoft's airport looks like and the add-on airport, and have their pluses and minuses. So, one of the nice things here is that um, here on the beach, you do have animated figures that are on the beach waiting for planes to jump, come over. And they're jumping up and down, waving their hands, having a good old time for that jet blast to come blow them away and uh, that's a lot of fun I imagine although I'm sure there is an element of danger to that as well and get hurt as you see from the beach and where the landing is uh, it's very close uh, as we come over here to the right just looking at the scenery again we have this nice little bar area tables and umbrellas, the, uh, work on the rocks, I'm not sure if that would be Microsoft scenery or if that's part of the add-on scenery, enhance the rocks possible. Trees look really good, we have a swimming pool here and the refuge, let's say, restaurant and lounge. Air jet taking off over there. Here. 
Let's see, you know, some other outlining buildings here. Got a hotel to the left, but the groundwork is obviously Microsoft default. They did, looks like, perhaps put some uh, greenery here with trees and whatnot between the airport and the building. So when you're down and actually at the plane level, um, you're just really seeing the, the building, you're not really seeing the ground anyway. Uh, as we make our way over to the water, you'll see that the boats are just not there, and the buildings are just not there. Uh, again, if you go up high, and you're looking at from a high level, it can look like there's boats in the water jetting around doing its thing, but it's not um, when you're down at ground level. It's just flat. Uh, moving over to the apron area, we see that uh, there's the markings on the ground are very nice, very good, well, well marked. We have some static airplanes that are included with the scenery, uh, parked over there by the hangars, looks good. And uh, as we move into the airport area, you can see tire markings, uh, some oil on the ground things of that nature that um, yeah, to some of the enhancement let me go on down a little bit closer and you can see that um, there's markings on the ground from tires and things like that and that uh, shows some wear and tear which is uh, really nice to see for the ground look really nice uh, in the airport. The grass looks good. Um, so overall, uh, um, the textures and outdoors look pretty pretty nice. Uh, with the exception of, you know, they use a lot of the same vehicles over and over again. So uh, this is where I am kind of disappointed. I'm going to tr try and do a real fast overview here because I want to review the other airport. Inside the terminal, let me straighten it up a little. It's lacking. It really is lacking, and it needs to be updated. It's showing its age from the 9, uh, 2020, uh, three and a half to four years old now. Uh, this probably would have been stunning scenery back in that time, but they just have, uh, I mean, this is supposed to be a restaurant or something that's looking out the windows there at the planes that are parked at the gates, and all it is is just a picture disappointed in that. Uh, as you go through here, again, subway is just a picture on the wall. It's not really space that's been created. Um, as we move down toward the gates, gates are very generic. Again, looks like it's just done really quick, real cheaply. Uh, they have some self-check-in kiosks, but there's no names of any airplane, airlines, or anything like that. Um, the benches where you sit are just really cheap, not a very good quality. As we turn around and go toward the escalators, this is where I believe the TSA area is supposed to be. And the TSA area is just, uh, again, very poorly done. This was obviously not meant to impress people. 
uh, inside the terminal for sure. Outside's another question. Outside looks really good, but this is uh, really lacking here uh, for what airports have uh, today. Escalators are not working. As we move up to the second floor, we have an elevator that again is just a picture. When you see airports that have actual elevators that are modeled and are moving up and down with people inside them, uh, that just is really a disappointment now. Uh, this airport really could use just a, a big update. And they had all those modeled people out on the beach. I don't understand why they didn't, didn't go forward and, and do it inside the, the terminal as well. Uh, as we move toward the gates, again, it's very minimal some seats that are in here but uh, they're not modeled very well um, they don't seem to have any any depth to them just uh, almost like um, cardboard it's just again we have an area over here that is just uh, it's supposed to be an area you can go into but it's just a picture so I don't understand this just needs to have a lot of work on the inside and that goes on and on I could go all the way down to the end of the terminal you basically just see the repeat of the same thing over and over again so uh, inside I am very disappointed outside uh, generally I'm very happy with I'm happy with the airplanes the static airplanes that they have out here look like they're pretty decent um, I like the tire marks you see the tire marks here on the ground airplanes look pretty well. The grass looks nice. And overall the buildings on the outside I think look really nice. So that is uh, St. Martin Airport uh, by Airworthy Designs. Uh, this is a cost of £15.99. Microsoft uh, Airport that you can get with Microsoft device. So I'm back in the Microsoft Flight Sim with the standard Princess Juliana International Airport. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm not absolutely sure that this airport is a special airport for those with uh, Deluxe Premium Microsoft Flight Sim. Because in uh, my review of looking at uh, the airports that were included with uh, the premium version, which is what I have, this airport is not included in that list. So it's quite possible this airport is actually standard airport um, for Microsoft Flight Sim. But somebody who uh, does have that, maybe you can comment in the section below and let me know. Uh, if this is the airport that you get with the standard Microsoft Flight Sim, that'd be nice nice to know. Now, first thing that I notice in, in looking at this airport is uh, it actually looks pretty decent. Uh, I do notice that there is a uh, variety of vehicles uh, versus the other airport that was the paid add-on airport. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's go on over to the beach area like we did the last time. So as we do, we'll go ahead and look at the ground. We have some buses down there. And again, we have some markings on the ground that looks actually pretty good. What I do notice off in the distance is we have a cruise ship out there. That is kind of neat to be able to see that. Um, we did not get that with the paid subscription. as we come over to the beach area where those people were jumping around in the paid add-on, uh, the beach is empty. So if that is a big thing for you, then uh, you may want to go ahead and buy the add-on. Let's go over to the side here, and again we have the same model. Now the rocks and the Left here uh, look quite different from what it was uh, in the paid on. And there's no people over here. Um, 
like in the uh, paid add-on. But as far as the uh, buildings go and whatnot, that all looks very much the same. I'm thinking maybe the paid add-on airport just added the animated figures inside what was already there from Microsoft, which is very possible. Uh, the umbrellas are not all colorful. As I recall, they were more colorful um, in the add-on. So let's go ahead and zoom over to the other side and take a peek over there. We'll see how much uh, this paid add-on airport gave us. As we come over here to the other side, looks like we have the same buildings. Outside area to eat. Looks very much the same as it did in the paid report. The trees, the shrubbery all look pretty good. I like how you have the motion of the uh, movement of the ocean out here. The water is not just uh, sitting there as a picture move over to the hotel and the hotel does pretty much look the same well, except for the pool is empty that's interesting all right we go up and if we look behind the hotel we have a different building back here it says Sinesta here the color of the building if I recall correctly even looks different so there you go. Um, I mean, it looks good. That's okay. I, it looks good. I'm good with that. As we go down uh, back toward the terminal again. Again, I think that this is the VOR building here with the big ball on top of it. This hotel behind these trees actually uh, looks good, looks the same. What I'm noticing is what's on the ground just looks like uh, a road. It actually looks better than what was there with the paid uh, add on airport. So I'm really actually more impressed so far with the airport here from Microsoft. And, uh, okay, so as we go here, we see that we have the painted on uh, cars, uh, which look okay from way up high, and you're looking straight down on it. But when you're down low, it looks really horrible. But, I mean, we had the same thing in the, in the add-on airport as well. But what's nice is when you get down here, you actually have boats. They weren't, they were paid on, painted on in the water uh, with the add-on software. But here with the Microsoft Airport, we actually have boats and yachts that are here in the bay. That's really cool. I like that. So far, it's Microsoft's airport for the win. But we're not done yet. Let's go on out to the end of the runway here and we'll make our way back toward the terminal. And I like the movement of the water here. It looks really good. Looking out at the um, cruise ship, it almost looks like there's two cruise ships out there, but I believe that there's really only one. And I'm trying to make this quick because I'm doing a review basically at two airports, same airport, but two different add ons. Uh, this end of the runway looks really good. Not disappointed with that. Again, I like seeing the ships out there. That is just really cool. We don't have the people jumping up and down on the, the beach, but um, I can live without that. And the other thing here that I'm noticing is that we do not have the static aircraft. So the static aircraft is not here. It's just all empty. So if that's your thing, you want to look like uh, you have a busy airport um, and you like the static aircraft, 
perhaps uh, the add-on the add-on one I, I looks good from the outside um, the inside the terminal needed updating but it didn't have the the watercraft out in the water now a video that I shot showing the landing here I had both airports installed so you did see the aircraft outside and you did see the, the building well the buildings are all the same I think that the add-on just um, may use the same building so uh, but let's go inside and see what it looks like inside and wow Okay, so the inside looks somewhat the same, but I actually think it looks better than the paid on paid airport. Yeah, this is definitely better. It's like you have a little eating area there with some tables. I have my. Uh, My drone is set to real high speed so I can zoom around real quick, so please pardon me running over things. Uh, we have pretty much the same uh, ticket counter area. Yeah, I see some baggage, a couple pieces of bags left there, which TSA would not be very happy with. The uh, steel beams actually, I think, look slightly better than the add-on airport did. The elevator actually looks better. And let's see what we got over here. Um, they don't have the TSA area like the uh, add-on airport had, but it looked terrible anyway. So I really uh, don't care less about that. And let's uh, go upstairs and see what we see upstairs. So this airport inside looks 100% better. Look, uh, and there's a little eating area over here. That's cool. The, air, the elevator is not just a um, painted picture. I could probably go in there if I wanted to. Now I don't see an elevator going up and down. Up, there we go. There's the elevator down there. I wonder if we can go in the elevator. And here we are in the elevator. Eesh, that's scary. Okay, let's get out. Okay, out. So let's look around up here. Um, yeah, looks good. Looks okay. I'm not angry about this one. The other airport, the add-on airport, I was not very happy with the inside, considering I paid money for that. That's interesting. It looks like it... I don't know if that really goes all the way back down to the... I guess it would have to go down to the bottom level. The seating inside here looks much better. Some plants over here by the uh, by the windows. Some suitcases. Be nice if there were some people in here. This right here was just a painting on the wall. We can actually go in this space. Not that there's anything here, but we can go in it. And uh, we can go on down further. Looks like it's just a repeat of the same. We have a post that's floating in thin air right there. Um, Alright, so this gives you an idea what it looks like inside. This video is getting long, so I'm going to go ahead and try and wrap this up. If we go outside and go up, we look down at the ground again. We do have uh, tire markings, grease markings, some wear and tear uh, showing on the aprons here. Uh, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, again, pluses and minuses between the two airports. This one overall, the interior of the uh, terminal, I like a lot better. I 
like the fact that you have the ships uh, that are sitting out there in the water. That is really cool to see. Um, the only thing then really about this airport that would be a drawback, and again this is just the default Microsoft airport, is the fact that they don't have people out here on the beach that are jumping up and down waving at the planes as they come in for their landing. Mm, that's kind of fun to see as you're landing. So how much will you really go inside the terminal and look around? Uh, also, uh, I guess the other thing with the add-on airport is the static airplanes that are parked around the airport. You do not get, it looks like we have a few right down in here. So there's a few right in here. But generally overall, you don't have uh, the airplanes like you did in the paid airport. It'd be nice if we could get a combination of two. My answer to that is I install both. And I use both. That way I do see the ships and the boats out here. It does add a little bit of funkiness if you go in and look at things closely. Um, like in this area here, you'll see some picnic tables that are up at a level that they're not supposed to be at. But, you know, how often are you really going to go in there and look that close? Uh, the inside of the terminal is uh, looks funky. Uh, again, if you're not going in there, it doesn't matter. So then you, you do get uh, the boats out there. Looks like they're using the same buildings. Uh, they didn't model any of the buildings themselves. That's my opinion. I, I don't know that as a matter of fact. I'm just going based on what it looks like. Anyway, I hope this helps uh, you make your decision in whether you wanted to buy the uh, Payware uh, Airport or if you just want to stick and stay with the uh, default Microsoft Flight Simulator Airport. <laughs> Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see ya.